again sorry for the quality it's really bad but anyway I have done this nice thing uh, I can't remember the name of the lady sharing the pattern it's the darling something pattern very nice but I had um, I counted all the stitches and uh, it's it's a bit too many in the end and I started here with 72 and I want to end with 72 so what I'm doing and I want it to be flat the way it closes because the original part is like this and I want a, a flat line like this one so what I'm doing is uh, doing a taller stitch here and I'm reducing by 1 because I want it's 18 shells 18 shells times 4 is 72 and so I'm going round taking care that I'm doing exactly 4 uh, stitches per uh, shell what I'm doing is like this I already started, I'm sorry I did not think about doing the video uh, earlier I come more or less when you start you come more or less here you do one uh, step up and then you slip stitch sorry, you slip stitch to the top so you do twice tw twice uh, slip stitch and so, uh, I'm not very good at crochet you will notice during this work anyway uh, so you can do twice the slip stitch to the crown of the shell do I manage? yes, yeah and then I do a half double crochet pointing here in the middle of the link between the shells so I go there in the middle half double crochet so yarn over go there in the middle come here and then close the stitch this is a taller stitch then I'm doing a less tall stitch not so flat anyway and that's simply a single crochet in the next one and I am back to the start so twice a slip stitch which makes four what did I do? Two slip stitches, a half double crochet and a single crochet. So that's four. That's exactly what I need. And then I go further. Slip stitch, slip stitch, half double crochet, single crochet. And the effect is that it lays flatter. That is it. Thanks for your effort, Daisy.